This is NWA9401, and today we are going to do the unboxing of, or actually review, excuse me, of China Southern Cargo Boeing 777-200 LRF. Um, on the box it actually says LR, but that's long range. Um, the F is for freighter, and uh, this is a freight version. A couple other airlines I know Qatar Cargo. Um, they started operating, I believe they have about two in the cargo fleet right now. Um, on service to services to Chicago, um, Aerologic. I know they were the launch customer. I think they're a South American carrier. Um, they also operate them. FedEx, um, major cargo carrier. Everybody knows. I believe actually FedEx dropped this off. <laughs> I saw the truck pulling away, and uh, that was my tracking number. So it was all with FedEx. They operate this cargo version. Um, China Eastern and a couple other airlines. So. I'm going to show you, that was just a little bit about who operates it. China Southern, obviously, the company that I got. Um, it's just a great looking model. This is a Phoenix model. Um, Phoenix, very detailed quality. Very, very nice. Um, small details that, that really make a difference, such as the rolling gear, rolling tires, as you can see. Um, just really great detail. So, you can see the tires really nice um, GE 90 engines General Electric 90 largest in the world um, on a passenger aircraft I believe they're largest in the world period aircraft engines um, they're as wide as a 737 cabin I mentioned that in another video when I did comparison to the um, Delta 777 now the main one of the, the main features that would makes a 777 LR the raked wingtips um, right here if you can see how they they kind of curve back or whatever slant back and that's all because it's um it's all because of uh it, it's the equivalent of winglets it reduces drag and it makes it gives a lot more range um and more range more money saving money um and that's why I believe China Southern got this aircraft it's just a great looking model though I believe it says um, China Southern and Chinese is the registration B2072 and the thing funny to me actually um, when I got it I read the registration it was checked in the box 702 right there and then on the box it says 701 so or 2071 so they don't match up but it's still you know it doesn't really matter it's still a great looking plane another thing though I found odd when I got it, the tail, it it was removed and it was laying in the box kind of like this over the um, stabilizer. So I found that kind of weird and uh, put that right back in there. But China, I mean, Phoenix is just still great quality. I don't think it was produced like that. I don't know what happened, but I'll probably end up just gluing it. But uh, it's just a great, it's, it feels really lightweight. Um, that's one thing about it. But I'll show you the gear. Phoenix, the, another thing is the gear shift. So in real life, 777F, seven, seven, seven or 777 seven, seven period, a lot of wide bodies, they land, the gear kind of slants a little bit, and then they touch down. So that's another really cool feature. And um, it's just a great looking model. If you can see right on top in these red letters, it says in case of emergency, cut here because there's no other exits there's only the main L1 door, L2 door or L1 door and R1 door so left and right um, you have this cargo hold which I, I also I wasn't really sure of it because I've never seen and I didn't actually look at this model of 777 but I actually usually I think it's a little bit higher and it flips up so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm sure Phoenix has all their details right in their, in their models, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure everything is modeled correctly. Um, you see the forward cargo hold door and uh, aft, and then you have the bolt cargo door, which is smaller. So um, that's pretty much what I'll show you. Also, I'll show you how I have a high loader kind of attaches like that. All the cargo is moved on can show you on the other side um, 
right here. So that's that. Now I'd actually I'm actually gonna put it at my cargo ramp. And I got the aircraft because China Southern. I love the Sky Team Alliance and they would be a part of the Sky Team excuse me, the Sky Team um Cargo Alliance. One of the first carriers actually. And I'm um, actually I'm gonna put it right about here. Make sure the tail doesn't because that is I can tell it's gonna be a problem. So right there, you can see that. You see the cargo stairs I made. The thing about cargo stairs, they're different than regular stairs because they don't go straight up. They they kind of curve. They don't curve, but they, they're they built so it's like you go up one side, then you come back the other side. And I'll show you kind of pushed up to the plane. And that's how it's going to be like that. Now, um, I'll show you with the cargo loader on attached to it and it should work just like that so the aircraft at its natural habitat the cargo ramp now I'll show you from afar so you can see kind of a whole picture of everything and it should work just like that so that was my China Southern 777-200 LRF review. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great model. Great model. Phoenix always, they never fail to impress. And um, you should stay tuned because I actually have an Allegiant. You can see that. Um, Allegiant MD-80 review coming. So uh, NWA. 941 saying comment rate subscribe feedback positive or negative and um thanks for watching